We welcome you back to the beginning of the nighttime hours here at Circuit de la Sarre for the 24 hours of Le Mans. And our stomachs are literally in our mouths. Along with the Audi crew, there are some very, very frightening scenes here. And it involves Audi again. Alan McNish walked away from his crash earlier. I'm not quite sure if we can report on the same thing here involving car number one and the 27-year-old German Mike Rockefeller. It has been a, an horrendous crash out on track just as we went to that last commercial break. And this is all we have to show you. We once again are taking world feed, so we cannot control. And again, it was contact with a GT car. Yeah. Thomas Leutsch in the middle there with the goggles on his head. Ralph Jutner, the technical director. Everybody is in disbelief. I'm going to determine which area of the racetrack is Lee. It's either the run down to Indianapolis or out of Arnage on the way to the Porsche Curves. Both areas of the racetrack have a similar kink in them. And Rocky, at that point, that was not a, a risky move. I mean, the, you assume that the GT car is going to stay on the outside there. They don't need to apex on those curves at that point. And from the limited onboard shots and vision that we had, the car was aggressively spun and Rocky went in backwards into that guardrail, the Armco, that from shots that we were looking at during that commercial break has been moved well and truly back from its original position. And we've got some shots coming up for you to try and put this sequence together. Again, the video is limited. But we're doing the best we can with what we've been fed from the world feed. But again, these are very frightening times. That was at almost maximum speed. You can see the skid marks off to the left there. Here's that video that I was alluding to earlier. This is from a CCTV. That appears the back end of the car, or at least the gearbox and engine. Look to the left of the screen there. That's yeah. what I was talking about earlier. See the tire marks down below. See the skid marks skid there across. leading as he got clipped by that GT car as he was passing it on the right wow. side. That's that's just the horrific. engine and gearbox, I think. And I'm not sure if the main monocoque is on the other side of the Armco or not. These are just horrific pictures. Just makes you sick. It just makes you. Romain Dumas there with the jacket on. This is the defending race winners. This trio of Dumas, Bernard and Rockefeller. And you can see their concern for their friend and co-worker. Again, the shot from Mike Rockefeller flashing his headlights, alerting this GT car that he is coming. And that tells it all. His teammate there that we just saw the shot of, Romain Dumas, was highly critical in a message earlier today about several drivers, several cars out on track. We're now hearing that the crash is on the run from the Mulsanne corner down towards Indianapolis. There's a little kink in the road. At these speeds, nothing is easy, but it's an area of the racetrack where a GT car should be able to run essentially the outside lane there and allow the faster prototype to just go by. Sometimes when a guy is out maybe on his initial lap, he's really disoriented with the racetrack, trying to get up to speed. There's been a lot of talk about the, the GTE amateur division. We hate to place blanks. We're not even sure which GT car was involved in this incident, but you'd have to say that one lays at the fall of the GT car, closing the door at these high speeds. Just pray to God that Rocky's all right. That's horrific crash. This is a driver who we have known for many years here in the US in both Grand Am and the American Le Mans series. He, to this point, was having the year of his career. Within the last 12 months, a little bit more, he'd won the Rolex 24 at Daytona for Action Express Racing. He'd been promoted within Audi for the DTM. He got the most modern car. He has won a race in DTM this year. He comes to Le Mans as the defending Le Mans 24-hour winner.
one thing about this, if he did go over, this is where the closed cockpit should be a help. You know, we hate to just guess on what's happened here, but do you see the charred mess? And hanging at the side of the road. He's on the stretcher. Yeah, he's on the other side of the guardrail. You see him on the stretcher. They just lift him over the guardrail, but the car, what's left of it, was Don't on Don't know this where side. the car's at. Yeah, the front part's missing. What a day this camp has had. First Alan McNish, now Mike Rockefeller. And for perhaps people hearing the news of a crash, maybe Romain Dumas telling family and friends that he is okay, he was not in the car. It was his friend and teammate Mike Rockefeller. Boy, and there's just not enough of that thing left to even know what it is. Yeah. Can't say. Only hope is that perhaps the driver's compartment was on the other side of the guardrail. Separated. Protected him. 